Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Windows services, reduce your CPU load, and optimize the performance of your Windows overall in this guide. I hope this video helps you out. Stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that you have to go over to settings on your PC. Once you are here, look up for storage. Head over to storage settings and then you'll find storage sense right over here. Click on it and inside you have to click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary files and app files. Right beneath that you have to turn on automatic user content cleanup. Run storage sense every single day, delete file in my recycle bin for 14 days and download folder should be set to never. Once again, if you have iCloud drive or OneDrive, you can set it according to you and don't forget to click on run storage sense now. Let that run in the background, head over to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar is an active service that keeps on running in the background, utilizing your CPU, memory and a lot more resources. You can simply turn this thing off from here and shut it down completely. Head back to gaming go over to game mode and turn this thing on it will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background allowing you to gain extra performance in some cases turning this off also helps you to gain extra performance so check out for yourself right wing dash you'll find graphic settings head over to that click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windows games both of them will help you to utilize your gpu to render the game over your cpu and reduce your input latency once you're done with these settings head over to windows update and make sure that you're always up to date this will ensure that any other system bugs that are causing FPS issues or performance issues will be fixed. Right in here, you'll find advanced option in which you have to go into delivery optimization and turn this thing off. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is deanimating windows and it is very essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then over here enable these four options that is save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will help you to retain the basic animations and look of your windows and disable all unwanted and unnecessary CPU loaded animations right away. Step number three is disabling and moderate startup applications on your PC. And for that, you can press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and then Task Manager will open right in front of you. What you have to do is click on Startup Apps right over here and you'll find all of the applications listed right away. What you can do is right click and start clicking on Disable on all of the ones that you do not use since the boot of your PC. I recommend you guys to disable all unwanted services except the game anti-cheats and the services that you know about that will help you to reduce significant loads since the boot of your PC and keep less number of processes running active in the background saving you a lot of your resources while you're playing the games. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you can simply search for create a restore point and then look up for your local disk C, click on create and name it services just so you can remember it from. I'll recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss in case of any emergency. Once it is done you can simply click on close and then close system properties. Next step is a new service optimization pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply head over there and download it or you can alternately join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Once you're over here you'll find in four simple folders with simple registry files to edit. 
First one is the disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services right over here. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices, refrain from disabling your Bluetooth services. But other than that, I highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them by double clicking on them. It helps you to disable unwanted services that are running in the background, consuming your CPU and RAM utilization. This will help you to create a headroom for your applications and games to run. Once again, if you don't like any of them and you want to revert them back, you can use this folder. Second one is the batch tweaks in which I have left four simple batch files. First one is the BCD tweaks and for that, you can right click on this as administrator and it will perform a set of commands that are right over here, which will apply on your PC automatically. You do not have to run them manually. Simply with the disable memory compression as well, it disables memory compression, which adds up to your CPU resources and disabling that will help you to fix that. That. Then these two will help you to reduce your input latency. Third folder is a programs folder in which I have left a cache cleaner. Once again, if you do not have storage sense available on your PC, you can alternatively use this batch file. Simply right click and run this as administrator and it will start deleting all of your unwanted temporary cache files. These are the files generated by your applications temporarily for usage and once they are done with it, it keeps on your PC. You can simply disable them for extra storage, improve performance. Let us run in the background and let's move to Memreduct. You can simply install this from this exe and open it up on your PC. And here is how Memreduct actually works on your PC. Once you click on the clean memory button and then click on yes, you can see that your memory utilization drops down instantly. I highly recommend you guys to use this every single time you load up any game or application which is extensive of your resources. Last is quickcpu.msi and over here you can simply install it and open up quickcpu on your PC. Once you're over here, what you have to do is click on the max performance over here and then click on accept and then slide all of your core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performances all the way up to 100% to make sure that you're using maximum resources on your PC. Head over to memory data and then click on clean. This will clean your memory distribution, ultimately giving you better experience and better performance for RAM. Once you're done with that, you can simply close this and move to the last folder, which is power plan settings. Over here, I have an ultimate performance power plan batch file. And if you do not have it on your PC, you can right click and run this as administrator and then head over to power plans. And this will add ultimate performance into your power plan list. Once again, if you have it, you can simply click on this and start using it. Once you're done with the service optimization pack, you can simply close it and let's move to the next step that is disabling background apps through local group policy editor on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, you can simply head over to settings and disable it. But on Windows 11, you need to go to local group policy editor and this will only be available for Windows Pro users. So once you're over here, extend this window so you can see everything clearly. Head over to administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy, and in here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. You have to double click on that and this window will pop right in front of you. Click on enabled to enable this policy and and then default for all applications should be set to force deny. This will help you to deny every single application running in the background and reducing your CPU usage. This will help you in the long run, so kindly do that. Next step is disabling sysmain, which is actually a very huge CPU resource consumer. And for that, you can search for services.msc on your PC and you will be going into this screen. Press S on your keyboard and you'll be looking for sysmain right over here. Right click on that, head over to properties and then startup type should be set to disabled. And if the service is already running, you can click on stop and then click on apply. Once that is done, you can close it and now use your PC with the maximum performance possible. Head over to your games and let me know what FPS you are getting or what kind of performance you are trying to achieve in the comments below. And guys, that is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, we have rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership as it is supporting me to make more awesome guides like this. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.